before any grinding session I usually or not usually always um, check the depth of my curve to check to see where my radius of curvature is and as I said earlier you need some sort of measuring tool to do this and I use a spherometer um, when you use a spherometer you want to have it zeroed on some sort of reference surface I use this small what is it um, 18 by 12 inch surface plate <clears throat> So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I just set it, make sure it's clean. You don't want any dirt or dust on the plate or on your balls. <clears throat> and set it on there. I don't know if you can see this, but there, that's where the needle rests. Nice and solid. Zero it here. Oh, right there. So now it's zeroed. Zeroed on a perfectly flat plane. So I'm going to take it over to my mirror and I'm going to put it on there and see how see the difference from zero, and that'll show how how deep I'm I've uh, gone and have to go. Okay, here I am at the mirror. Um. All this crud you see on the sides is just old used grit and pieces of glass from my blank. <clears throat> it's pretty messy. Now, I'm going to go to the center of the mirror and see how deep the curve is. So right now it shows, I don't know if you can see it, but Here's my zero, and I'm four thousandths off from zero. So, with a little bit of calculation, I can see where my radius of curvature is. Uh, my ultimate goal on this one, being an F5, 12 and a half inch, I want it to be around 100 or not 100, 0.125 uh, inches deep across the entire surface here. Um, a rough estimate if you are even close to a sphere this is really really rough but if you put it and you move it over to the edge it should be approximately the same wherever you put it here if not you are far from a from a sphere which is why what you want to end up with after you fine grind and this one seems to be doing okay. I spent about a 30 minutes to an hour hogging this one out so far. Rock solid. Now here's my tool. I spoke briefly briefly about it uh, earlier in uh, the first video. Um, I know the tiles may not look perfectly straight or even on both sides or even balanced out but I don't think that's necessary. I think a little bit of ununiformness, I guess, uh, is good. You never, I don't think you ever want it to be perfectly uniform, but I could be wrong. That's just my thoughts on the issue. Um, the first thing I'm going to want to do is charge this mirror with 60 grit anything anything under 100 grit I guess will be is good for hogging but I want it to work a little quicker so I use 60 some people use 30 who knows whatever whatever floats your boat uh, I charge it all over using this little gravy shaker a little bit will go a long way And then, of course, you need water. You never want to grind dry. You want to breathe in the glass particles. Charge it up here. All right. OK. 
carefully take your tool. Now this is where anything bad could happen. Everything that, that could happen will go wrong here. You could drop this or nick it or put it down awkwardly and chip it. So carefully put it on there and you're going to hear it grind instantly. Nice loud grinding grounding noise is great. You usually just move it around a little bit. Get you know, them nice and even underneath there. And when I'm hogging out with this, uh, I'm just going to be going over straight over the center. If you want to use the center, um, if you want to grind it deeper or the edges, depending on how you're. Uh, how your how your supposed sphere is is uh, coming out. Um, I'm gonna turn this on and start hogging. While I'm doing my back and forth, I'm going to be spinning this one way or the other. I don't think it matters uh, to get all uh, cords of this of this uh, of this the circle on the tile on the tile tool. You never want to just stay in one spot. You want to be erratic as possible. I'm putting most of my weight down on the tool. You can hear it cutting. stroke goes over a little bit, maybe an inch, half inch. I'm really concerned, I'm not concerned about the outside edges. I want to get this as deep as possible, close to my uh, radius of curvature, and then work on out from, from the center on out. you can just sprinkle more grit on there and continue um, some more grit and probably some more water and continue grinding. tired quick and you you don't need to worry about being precise on the overhang or where you're doing it because we're just trying to dig a hole in this mirror um, uh, I could just put a 
the mirror, I mean, the, the tool on the machine and let it go, but this is a lot quicker. Um, with this sub diameter tool, it seems to be really digging, uh, digging the hole pretty quick. Now, after you're done hogging, you're going to want to check the mirror again with the spherometer and to see where you're where you're at on on depth. So let's do that. But I'm gonna have to clean this, take this tool off, clean it off, rinse it off. I just have a bucket of water here and a scrub brush. and I'll wipe this off. Get most of this off with the sponge. Then, grab an old cotton t-shirt, dry it off. Check my depth. And of course it's about the same, but I didn't grind for very long. Check my depth and how my sphere is kind of looking. And then repeat.